I can't remember the third topic. George Masvidal. Okay. Yep. All right. All right, Ben. So last one before I let you go. Hey, Ben, a couple of Tweety Birds just floated around my head for a second. Like, oh, I can't remember the third. What was that? What was that? I don't know. You're getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old, dog. Maybe you got uh, Alzheimer's or something. I, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird? You what? know what's weird? Like where I'm from in Louisiana and like if somebody has Alzheimer's and they're trying mm -hmm. to explain my mom, like my grandmother has old timers. They call it old timers. No, they don't. I swear to God, I don't know why <laughs> they do that. <laughs> instead of Alzheimer's, instead of Alzheimer's, they call it, it, it she's got old timers. I'm like, what? Yeah, it sounds good. I like it. It actually is a pretty, it, it sounds better than Alzheimer's, scary. Yes. All right. Your boy, George Masvidal, said he's, he's, he's not retired no more. He said he's back. Ben, before you go insulting, why is he back, Ben? I mean, probably because he ain't got no more money. <laughs> How could that's he not have any guess. more money? People spend it. Mike Tyson spent four hundred million. Four hundred million. That's wild. Well, I mean, the government took a bunch of it. The government, the government's got a monopoly on violence, and they will take your money. They say you owe us forty percent. You're gonna give me damn forty. You're a dummy, Daniel. You live in California, so they're taking fifty from you. Fifty percent of everything you make, they say it's mine. Otherwise, we're gonna come to your house. We got big weapons. You're gonna go with us. Give us the fifty percent. <laughs> so you don't have as much as you started with because the government takes a bunch on the beginning. Um, but he's That's in Florida. I'm, there is no state there. there. So he's saving some money. Daniel, if you move there, you'd be saving multiple not, hundreds of thousands of dollars a I'm year. I'm not going to Florida, bro. Think about that. I am Think not about going that to compounding. Think about that. Go to, go to I, Nevada. Nevada. I understand. It's too hot. Bro. Let me tell you something, bro. Living in California, it, it's like perfect all the time. The weather's great. So, dude, stop getting me off topic. You know you can't. Okay. Hey, so George, you can't do this. I'm like the guy that if you do this next to my face, I'm like, what's that? What's that? You can't do that, bro. Stay on topic. Okay. Why is he? Why is he not? Why is he coming out of retirement? Uh, I mean, and who are you expecting to fight? That's the best guess. I actually, I bet it's gonna be in boxing or something. I bet it's not gonna be in the UFC. That that's my guess. Really? Yeah. But that's I where think... you make the most money in the UFC. Um, I mean, apparently uh, Nate Diaz alleges he got paid really well for the well for the Jake Paul fight. I mean, I got paid pretty good for mine. Not apparently as much as Nate Diaz got, that son see, of a bitch. You see, that's the thing, right? That's the what? thing right there, Ben. I love that. I love that you said that because you know, mm -hmm. you know what you got paid to fight Jake Paul. Yeah. You don't possibly believe that Nate made what he made, what he made. You just told me. You'd feel much better if you heard Dana White saying, well, Dana White said yeah. the numbers no. that these guys are saying is bullshit. Yeah. But I bet it's, I bet it's still quite a bit. I mean, I, I have a good estimate of what Tyra made, and um, it's it's really good money. How much, Ben? I can't stop. Ben, Ben. You put too much of my, uh, my buddy Tyron's business in the streets <laughs> on this one show. I'm not putting more of it. I'm just saying. I love Tyron. He, he, I made, love he Tyron. made a bunch of money. I love Tyron. It, it wasn't worth he's gonna it. He's going to be mad at you. He's going he's gonna to. Why would he be mad at me? I just, Why would he be mad at me? Man, acting like you never. <laughs> you're so. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> you you to, hey, you want to go back to that? You know what I'm saying? You want to go back to that? You started. Man, is Masvidal going to fight? Why don't you try to fight him? Listen, if, listen. Okay, I will make a statement around. If if Dana called me and said Ben George Miles with all UFC three hundred international, I don't give a damn. I'm out of retirement. I'll fight him. I don't care. Only I'll mixed martial him. arts, though. Yeah, what am I? I'm, I'm, I suck at boxing. You guys all <laughs> saw that. I'm not fight in boxing. We <laughs> dumb. I'm not good at boxing. You only only dude. Would you you would just would you? Yeah, he ain't gonna fight you. I, I mean, no, I want to fight. I would guy. love to see it. I would love to yeah. see it because bro, that first fight was such. I that know. was so crazy. That was the only time that could ever happen in your life. Yes, unfortunately. But he'll never say yes to that unless maybe he loses some more money or something. Uh, but it would be great. I would love to. Uh, I But you know what? It's one of those things, kind of kind of like what you said about Michael. It's like, I don't want to be begging and groveling for it. Uh, mm. I mean, it's, it's unlikely to happen. And so it's like, if someone calls me and says it's going to happen, okay, I'm there. If they don't, I'm just going to live my life. Yeah, but like you said, right? Like you, 
at least Chandler has an idea that it's actually happening. Yeah. But if George Masvidal fights for me, I believe it's in the UFC. I don't really? know who he would fight, though. Why don't you think the boxing thing is likely? Because I don't think there's enough money for him to be made there unless he's fighting one of these guys. The only way there's money for him to be made in boxing is if yeah. he's fighting a Jake Paul or a yeah. Logan Paul. Well, that's Paul. probably who he would fight, right? Or like, who's the black kid that that fought the kid was named oh, KSI, KSI or something? KSI, yeah. It's got to be one of those guys if he's gonna make the money that he's hoping to make in boxing. Otherwise, why would he just not go fight in the UFC? Problem with going back to the UFC is he's gonna fight somebody good. Yeah. Because yeah. he's such a veteran, he makes so much money that he's gonna have to fight somebody that's worth bringing him back for. Yes. But I think I, that, but that 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 to me is where I think it would work with you guys. I'm re listen. I just told you. I already told you. I'm ready. I stay in shape. I'm wrestling a lot. I don't strike much. Uh, I don't strike at all. I just wrestle. Um, but I'm in good shape. He wants to fight. Great, but I'm not going to campaign for it. Um, so yeah, I mean, like he has. He's lost four in a row. He lost his last four. Um, Who got him last? It was in Gilbert. Miami, though. Gilbert. Yeah, it wasn't great. Gilbert. Wasn't yeah, great Gilbert. Time. But he would. Um, you made the right point. He. Given what he's making, they're not going to give him an easy opponent. They're not going to be like, you get to fight some mid-range guy for $2 million. You know, it's like, you're going to have to fight someone good. Um, so that's why I kind of see it as like, I mean, I saw him. I saw him. It didn't look like he'd been training or staying in shape. So the notion that he's going to fight someone really good in the UFC is unlikely to me. I think it's way more likely he boxes. Yeah. He would have to, if he boxed, it would, it would have to be against one of those guys. But George always was like would get kind of big out of camp and then get himself mm. in shape when it was time to fight. So I don't imagine he would have much difficulty doing that. But I mean, he's in the news, right? It's just the beginning yeah. of 2024, and we've already got a lot of news breaking. Hey, I guess maybe he could fight Nate Diaz in boxing. There you go. Would you pay for it? Uh, I I would not pay for it. I think would would a decent amount of people pay for it? Um, I think they make a little bit of money. I don't think it'd be a huge event or anything unless they had someone else on the card with them. But, like, that's the thing, right? Like, do you box when it's not going to be, like, a massive amount of money? To go do something that you're not really that good at and that you might look like a fool doing? Like, eh. Because the reason these guys are so good in boxing in the octagon is because they can kick and do everything else. Yes. It's like, it's like me, like, and you. For whatever striking I had, it was it looked better than it actually was because people had to worry so much about me taking them down. I never was a yes. great boxer. But because I was able to take them down, they would have to be so aware that they couldn't make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. Ben, what are you doing for the rest of the night? Uh probably gonna make out with my wife or something. <laughs> His guy right here. She <laughs> made me, you know what? She made me some delicious tacos when I go for practice. They were very, very good. good. Uh good. I don't know. I'm gonna probably go shower and hit on my wife. <laughs> end up what are like you going to do? End up like Tyron Woodley. <laughs> that ain't a bad place to be.